Hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and today I thought I'd do a quick review of my Charlotte Olympia Kitty Flats. Whew, I love these shoes. I have had them for 10 years and last month I wore them to a wedding and I got compliments and I thought that's crazy. The fact that I bought these 10 years ago, I've worn them loads and then I got to wear them to a wedding and got compliments. That is a true testament to how good these shoes are. So I thought I'd do a video. So here are my shoes. Over the years, they have changed the design slightly. They're now doing them in the velvet rather than the satin. They now have a gold thread eye rather than a crystal eye. And I think the sole of the shoe has uh, changed design slightly because it says Charlotte Olympia in big letters. It says Charlotte Olympia in small letters. But apart from that, they're basically the same. There's just a few design tweaks along the way. And I would say those design tweaks are pretty good because I've got them in the satin, but I think the velvet would be more hard wearing. And also the only damage I've ever really had to these shoes is the eye fell off. And I did have to buy a new eye, a new crystal and stick it on myself. But I would say if you've got the sewn on eye, you won't have that problem. So I think they're pretty good design tweaks. So um, yeah, I thought I'd do a review of them. First of all, we should probably talk about sizing. So if you're buying these shoes, I would definitely say they come up a little bit small. So if you're like maybe like a six and a half, I'd go for the seven. If you are a small seven, sometimes a six and a half, I'd say definitely go for the seven. Do you know what I mean? Like always go up maybe a half size. And if you are wearing them in the summer, and you get bigger, sweatier feet in the summer, I would say go for your summer size a half size up. I would say they more are a summer shoe rather than a winter shoe, but I have been known to wear them all year round. I've been known to wear these with tights literally at winter. But that is my next point actually. They are very versatile. I find them so easy to wear with basically everything. I have worn them with like a jumper, a pair of leggings and these shoes, just like a cute whimsical nod. I have worn them with vintage dresses. I've worn them to a wedding. I've worn them to restaurants. I've worn them for walks. I've worn them everywhere. I find them really comfortable and really versatile. And basically everything that I would wear a pair of black ballet pumps with, I wear these instead because they are essentially a pair of black ballet pumps just with a little cute detail. So I would say they're really versatile, really wearable. And also if you are wearing them in winter, you can wear them with tights. And if you're wearing them in the summer, they are comfortable enough to wear without tights or without like pop socks or anything because the leather on the inside is really soft and just really comfortable as well. I just think they're a really comfortable pair of shoes. I am not the kind of person who can handle uncomfortable shoes. So if they weren't that comfortable, they wouldn't be this well worn. So what else? I was worried that these would be really fragile, but they've actually not been. You can see they've got wear to the tip. You can see that there's a little bit of like wrinkling where my foot bends, but nothing major. The main wear and tear has been the satin at the front, but when you're wearing them, you don't see that. You only wear, you only see the damage when they're on the shelf, but when they're on your feet, you just don't notice. And I could probably give it a little bit of a trim to neaten it up as well. So I think the quality of them is actually really impressive considering that they should be quite a fragile shoe. The gold heel is still looking really good. The soles are still looking really good. One thing I would say is that they come with a leather sole. I would say get them resold with a rubber sole just because we are in the UK well I am anyway and if it rains um, the leather sole can disintegrate quite quickly because they're not designed to get wet whereas a rubber uh, whereas a rubber sole will be good in all weather and they're still comfortable they're still beautifully made but it just means that if it rains if it's wet underfoot you're not going to ruin your shoes and you're going to add literally years to the length of your shoes. So I would say always try and get the rubber sole. It costs around eight pounds. You can just get it from a local cobbler, but it will make your shoes last a hell of a lot longer. Um, what else? I don't know. I think they've just worn really, really well. I would have thought they would have been really fragile, but they are not apart from the tips. One of the eyes did fall off. It was pretty easy to repair. I did have to do it myself because uh, I don't know if you know, but the Charlotte Olympia brand closed for a few years and I think it was during that time that I lost my eye so um yeah it was pretty easy to repair I just bought a new crystal and bought glue stuck it on it's been fine but now you won't have that problem because the eye is sewn in 
Um, but yeah, I just think they're really comfortable. They're very cute. They're really fun to wear. They're very versatile. They are a fashion investment because they are not cheap shoes. But I would say the amount I've worn them over 10 years is huge. And I would say for that reason that they are worth the money. For me, the heeled versions of Charlotte Olympia shoes are not worth the money because I don't wear heels that much. But the flats, I will always wear flats a lot. And I've worn these flats a lot. So they are, worth, they are expensive, but they're worth the money if you wear them. And I would say because they're black, because they're easy to wear, because they're easy to style, they are something that you can wear a lot and they are really comfortable um in terms of width fitting i have quite wide feet and i've really stretched mine out they're like they're quite boat like now i would say these are a standard to small width so again you might want to bear that in mind if you have quite wide feet i do have quite wide feet and they've still been okay but i have stretched them a bit over the years but i would say if you have very narrow feet great if you have wider feet you know you might have to stretch them out that's all I'm saying. And you might also want to go a little bit bigger on the length to kind of get that bit extra width as well. I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. I just think they're really good shoes. I just think they're really comfortable. Really like dress them up, dress them down. Wear them in summer, wear them in winter. Wear them with tights, wear them with bare feet. Wear them everywhere. Like they're literally great shoes. They're not cheap. And I think a lot of people are put off by them because they think they're expensive and fragile. But I would say they're not actually that fragile. Well, not in my experience. Um, but yeah, I love them. I think they're great. You can buy them from Harrods. Um, yeah, I would recommend them if I'm honest. I have had other pair of, pairs of Charlotte Olympia shoes over the years and I've sold them all because I just haven't had the wear out of them and they've not been, they've not been quite the right size. I bought them in like my size when I should have bought them in the size up. Um, that's my dog barking apologies but yeah that's kind of my video i think we're done anyway thank you so much i'll see you again soon goodbye oh and any questions let me know okay bye